Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey if you are new. If you are not new, I truly appreciate you coming back. So in my last video, I did a reference to what my next video, this video, was going to be on. And I said it was my favorite creator, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, it's the Whitney Simmons Gymshark collection, which as you can see here, there was nothing spared. Um, I went a little let's say crazy, if you will. And I have some regrets. There will be some stuff that I am probably going to return. Um, I bought all of this with my own money, sadly, but I do have some thoughts. So it's going to be a, hopefully not too long of a video. Um, I did want to mention that this style will be a little different. I'm not going to go through all of the colors because it's pretty much the same thing just in different colors so I'm going to like try on one color talk about it and then just kind of overlay the other colors so you can kind of see what they look like on my body type my skin tone stuff like that so without further ado you know the drill grab a beverage which um, is today coke zero if you didn't know um, coke zero tastes exactly like coke but it's all zero um, I thought is Coke Zero would taste exactly the same as Diet Coke. It does not. Just a fun fact for today. Okay, so first up, I do have what I'm wearing. Let's move you down a little, shall we? I feel like I always do this on camera, which is not the best, but hey. Better late than never, right? Okay. That's much better. So this is her eyelash knit fabric, which is like a new fabric. Um, it is... I would say that it gets cozier um, like the longer it's out of the bag. When it first comes out of the bag, it's very matted. Um, it doesn't feel super soft. I have had this out of the bag for a few days. And I would definitely say that it is super fuzzy, super soft, um, more of what I expected. The oversized knit sweater here that I do have on is very heavy. Um, that wasn't mentioned and I just wasn't expecting it to be so heavy, but it is a very heavy fabric. Um, it is oversized, so it does have this scoop neck. You can kind of wear it on both like this, or you can kind of go off the shoulder. I typically go off the shoulder just because that's the way that it falls. I'm not going to lie. This brings me back to like my early days in college when everything was off the shoulders. Do you guys remember those like long sleeve shirts that just were off the shoulders here and, but it was like a long sleeve. Yeah, I rock that every single night in Old Town Scottsdale. So this just kind of brings me back to the off the shoulder moments and I'm kind of here for it. I kind of love it. I think it really just gives like a rest day relaxed feel. So this is the eyelash knit jacket and I did get this in a size large. This is um, the cement brown color and she does have it in this white color as well. But obviously I didn't want to get two and two so I got the brown in this. And then next up, I do have two of the halter tops here. So I did only get it in white and brown. Um, so I leaned more towards the bandeau for this launch because I watched some reviews and they said that there was basically no support in these halters, which I don't need a ton of support. <laughs> but I like to feel a little held up and I watched someone with a similar chest size to me try these on and she didn't love these as much as the bandeau. Just not as flattering, no help really, if you will. Um, so I got two of them because I love these colors and then I did get, I did get the bandeau in three colors. Cement brown, black. I feel like black's a staple, I had to get it in this color and the leaf green. I am obsessed with green right now. If you've watched any of my other try on videos, I love green right now. So I had to get it in this color. So the bandeau top, she is very cute. Um, there is no adjustable straps. One small detail that I actually like, like really like for some reason is down the straps. It actually says Whitney Simmons on one side and then it does say Gymshark on the other, which I think that's just a really cute small detail. Um, and then minimal, branding on the back, the monochrome um, little tag here. So pretty much everything that I try on in this video is going to be first impression, obviously minus this sweater. Um, I have kind of been living in this the last two days. Um, I have worn the jacket once 
and I did try on one of the long line bras, but everything else is going to be first reaction. Oh, also except for the shorts. So moving on to the eyelash knit short. I got them in black. I don't know if you can tell, but like the eyelash fabric in this black almost seems shiny. So it kind of has this like shiny effect going on here. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that looks on or like, cause this is the fabric, how it comes. So you can see it's a little bit more matted and not as fluffy as say my sweater but I do think that it is going to essentially fluff up and give you that more like fuzzy overall look. And then I did get the shorts in leaf green, cement brown, and pastel petal pink. So I have tried on the pastel petal pink and I think this might be the one thing that I'm going to return. Um, I, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you guys, I don't love the fit. I haven't tried them. I do wanna try them in the darker color because I feel like it might be a little bit more flattering than the light pink. Um, but the light pink was not super flattering. So I do think I'm probably gonna return that. But alone, between the two that I have tried on, this already looks fuzzier than the black. Yeah, so this already looks a little bit fuzzier than the black shorts did. Um, it, they definitely feel fuzzier. So I do think that the other shorts that are a little matted right now will fluff up. And next up is the everyday pocket legging. Um, so I did get it in the pastel pink, the black, the leaf green, the cement brown, and then in this canyon red color as well, which I think is really beautiful. So obviously these are her very traditional Gymshark leggings. Um, we do have pockets this time and we do have the front leg detailing. Um, the inside scrunch bum going on here and then this time we do have a monochrome logo on the back there that is definitely not overwhelming. It reminds me of the Legacy branding where it's that monochrome and very subtle in the back. There is a seam going down the side and then we do have the gusset as well. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how these seams are gonna fit across my thighs. So this legging might be a hit or miss for me. I'm really not sure. I'm hoping it works because obviously I got it in every color, but that's my main concern right now with, with the leggings. So I'm not even gonna lie. My favorite item of the entire launch is the most basic item. Not surprised seeing as it's me. I love basic shit, um, but it is the cropped tee. So it's the leaf green, which is just beautiful. And then the pastel pink. Canyon Red, Skylight White, Cement Brown. So I'm really excited to try those on. I've been seeing all the Gymshark girlies with their outfits with like the long line bra and then just the whole monochromatic set. It looks so cute. I am so excited to actually wear these. I've had these hanging in my closet or hanging up on this for like three days and it's so hard for me to not grab them. So I'm glad to be filming this video so I can actually wear this collection. And last but certainly not least is going to be the Longline sports bra. So this is the black, this is the skylight white. And then over here I did get the pastel pink, canyon red, leaf green, cement brown. So I'm really excited to try these all on. Like I said, I'm going to be just kind of talking through one color, but I will be overlaying all the other colors and seeing how they fit as well. So if you do have any questions, please let me know. Oh, I almost forgot the socks. <laughs> So I did get a pack of socks. These are the only ones that she offered. It was white and green. Um, I believe these are the only ones, but I am really excited because I saw some cute little like stay at home, cute activewear fits with these. So I did want to grab them. I'm a huge socks girl. She also released baseball caps and a water bottle. Um, and a dress. The dress is super cute, but I'm just not a dress girly, so I didn't pick that up, but super, super cute. And I think that's all I have. So without a further ado, a further, without further ado, let's try on some really, really pretty gym clothes. So I listened to that intro back and I'm not a, <clears throat> I'm not a hundred percent sure that that microphone is working correctly. So I'm gonna go with the original old school microphone on the camera. If it sounds good, then I will start incorporating the microphone, but I'm really scared to film this entire video and not have the audio work. I know this works, so we're just gonna stick with it. <laughs> okay, so first up is obviously the oversized knit sweater. I did get this in a large. It is already an oversized fit, but I don't trust when they say oversized fit, so I always go up a size. 
Um, I am glad that I did because I do feel like I get a little bit more slouchy look going on up here. Um, only thing I will say is it does like cinch at the bottom here, which kind of gives that like, which can tend to give almost that like sweater dress effect, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, so what I did when I wore this is I lifted my arms up, brought this like fitted part around my hips, and then I did just tuck this under, like so. And I feel like that's a really cute look. Um, I have yet to wear this with jeans, but I think it would be a really cute look with jeans. Very cute rest day fit. Um, the arms are a perfect length. Uh, I am 5'7", so wingspan I feel like is pretty normal. But uh, overall, I really enjoy this sweater. It is something I'm going to keep, and I think it's going to be something that I actually grab more than I think that I will. eyelash knit bandeau up top here um, this is a very compressive top I really enjoy like a compression top like this because I just feel a lot more supported I am a girl who does not like to nip out I don't like to really show that I'm not wearing a bra but I also like to get a little bit of help with the girls if you will um, so a little bit of cleavage going on, nothing crazy. This is more of a rest day set. Um, the eyelash knit fabric she created to be more rest day. I think this whole line is geared rest day, but obviously the eyelash knits are going to be a lot more rest day. Um, again, the straps up top have that like Whitney detailing with the Gymshark on the other side. I think it's really cute. Only thing I do wish is I do wish that there were um, adjustable straps because I do feel these straps could get annoying after a little bit. Um, they are a little bit tight, but honestly, nothing too crazy at all. Very compressive. It does have an elastic band in the bottom here, so you are going to get a lot of compression at the bottom, which I enjoy. It is definitely a longer lined bra because there's very minimal room between these and the leggings. Um, I don't know if it is picking up on camera, but that top again does kind of have that shiny material going on. So hopefully that does go away, but I really enjoy these bandeau tops. I think these are definitely up my alley. I'm glad I got more colors in this um, because I feel like this is just gonna be something that I wear under t-shirts, under jackets, stuff like that. And it's just gonna be comfortable and cozy. And I am a girl who lives for comfortable and cozy. The eyelash knit halter um, I do feel like I'm nipping out a bit again there's not really much compression or support going on here it really is just pretty much a standard halter fuzzy top it obviously is an adjustable neck because you just tie your own straps back there so you can do that as loose or as tight as you want um, I don't feel like it really gives me much going on up here except for nipple um, Overall, not my favorite top between this and the bandeau, so I am glad that I only got this in like two colors. But I do think that this would be cute with like a pair of jeans, or even just in the summer, like spring months, this with your leggings or anything. I do think this would be really cute to just go run some errands. Overall, um, I do prefer the bandeau over the halter though. I do like the white more than the brown on my skin tone, um, but it definitely shows full boob. Like I'm not getting away with any secrets here. Another thing that I forgot to mention is there is a like a band. See how that snaps back? So there is a compression going on here. So you're not gonna get like a riding up on this. It does fit really well. It hits the top of the leggings. I do think it's a perfect length for like a full coverage cute fuzzy rest day on top, activewear on the bottom type thing. Okay, so this outfit does something else. It makes me feel like I actually belong in the gym and I'm super cute and ready to work out. 
This is her knit jacket. I did get this in a large as well. She did say that you could stay true, um, but I always like an oversized fit. So that's where I went. It does have a silver zipper going up the middle. It does have a like conformed waist a little bit more. One thing I do love is the slouchy armpits. Um, as you can see, there's very, there's a lot of room going on in here and I really appreciate a jacket that doesn't just like cut off your circulation in the armpits. Um, I am really a fan of this like flat leg collar that's going around recently. I really enjoy that. I think that it's a really cute detail. The circle is a little large in my opinion, um, but she's cute, don't mind. I really love this jacket. She is pricey, I'm not even gonna lie. I believe she's like 80 bucks, but I am obsessed with this jacket. If I had to choose between this and the sweater, I would get this jacket. Um, I think that this is just a lot more versatile. I would wear it a lot more. The reason I didn't get the white in this is because I feel like I'm just so messy with jackets. Like I just am a little bit messier <laughs> when I have a jacket on for some reason. So I didn't want that to get stained, whereas this can kind of seem a little bit more stain resistant because of the color. Um, I fully enjoy this jacket though. No pockets, which I feel like is a missed opportunity there, but I'll live. And just a really cute staple, like not super cropped, just a really cute jacket. If you are on the fence about this jacket, I would get it if it's not already sold out because shit goes quick. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm feeling very vulnerable on the internet right now. Um, these are not the most flattering shorts at all on me. The length, I feel like it just cuts my legs. If I try and do like a scrunch, it gives me too much fabric up here. I am not a fan. I do think this will be an item that I am honestly going to probably return just because I don't feel confident in these. Um, so I'm never going to gravitate towards them. So there's no reason to really keep them. So I think that these shorts are going to be something that goes back in all honesty. I just don't think these are super flattering on me. It's, it's given me a lot here. I sh if I pull it down, it's just, it cuts my legs at a very weird point. It does cover cellulite completely because of how long they are. Um, you can fold them down. I have seen people do that where it has this cute like Gymshark Whitney band going on. I have seen people in much better shape than me wear these and I think that they look so cute. I think it's just my proportions, my hips, my, I don't know what it is, not my favorite. But again, the bando. She's a Next up, I do have the Whitney leggings on just because I wanted something to wear while I was trying this on. And it is freezing in my house. I am shaking right now as I speak. So first impression when I did pull these on is that the waist felt super tight, um, but having them on, it does just feel like a normal compressive waistband here. I did get these in a medium, which is my normal size for leggings. I told you I was concerned about the front seam here. You can't really see it in the black, but you'll be able to see it in these other colors. I don't really notice it in the black here at all. It's not affecting the legging for me. The pockets are a little bit higher up than I'm used to. Normally I'm like used to them being a little bit further down, but they are higher up, which I don't mind. Let's see if it fits. So I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max here and fits perfectly in here. Um, it doesn't poke out the top. I do feel like the top is a little bit tighter, so you're not gonna get that phone kind of peeking out. Um, yeah. Hi, girl. Hi, best friend. I really love the, like, the feel of these leggings. It is very much a standard Whitney legging. The butt scrunch, I do feel as though I have completely stretched it out to its fullest extent. Um, but I am getting a little bit of that like under butt glute seam carriage 
thing. I feel like it's doing something. I'm probably going to see it more in the other colors than I am in the black, but I did just want to put this on for the sake of an outfit. Um, I do really like the feel of these, so I'm excited to see other colors. Obviously, black is going to be a lot more cellulite friendly. Um, I don't see really anything in this as far as squat proofness. I would say they're pretty squat proof. I cannot see my hand or skin through these. The lighter colors obviously will, might have a different squat proofness. For the black, these are pretty squat proof. So I know I spoke about the black leggings, but here is the lightest color, which is the pastel pink. So you can kind of get an idea for transparency, how everything's kind of going to look from the darkest color to the lightest color. I am going to show you other colors on my body, but these are going to be the ones that I speak about. So immediately, obviously, I notice an accentuation on my stomach. I don't feel like it hides it as well as the black ones. Um, I did struggle a little bit with camel, just rearranging a little bit. I really like these. I don't notice the line detailing cutting into me or doing what I thought that it would. It doesn't make me feel like a sausage in a casing where it's just kind of like me busting out of the seams. I do think like that it is a flattering seam. Um, again, we do have the pockets up here. Cellulite is not going to be hidden. Um, this pretty much just lays right on top of it, on top of it and it's going to settle in those. So you are going to see your cellulite coming through. As far as squat proof for the lighter color, I would say it's pretty squat proof. Um, I wouldn't do leg day, maybe in the lightest color, but I do think that it, they are pretty squat proof for being this light. We do have the monochrome detailing right at the top here, very minimal, which I appreciate. It's no longer the gold bar or her name stitching. It's just this minimal right here, which I really appreciate. We do have the inside seam going up the glutes here. So we do get a little bit more um, peach accentuation going on, which I can appreciate. Uh, no, I wouldn't say really any lower tummy control for me. It's hard to keep this thing under control. We know that. So just for me personally, there's not a lot. Um, the waistband does have a flat lock seam at the top, which can be a cause for rolling. Um, I did notice already that seam is coming out and these are the first time that I have tried them on. So I did want to mention that. Um, overall, I really do like these. I am getting that slight bit of rolling that I would expect from a legging with the seam at the top, which is right there. You can see it's just naturally going to happen on me. So I really, really do like these leggings. The pink I feel very pretty in. I am glad that I got the matching um, long line bra to go with the pink because it's just, it's a really cute moment and I, I appreciate it. <laughs> and I did want to mention that the um, length looks like a 7 8. I am 5 7. It does come a little bit above the ankles for me, but nothing too crazy. So I really like the length. obsessed with these so what she did this time is she made the cup pads to actually fit the top so when you put it on you are basically just gonna have like two separate ones but it's like one big pad um, I think that it fits the bra really well I think that it holds its structure really well I don't notice the digging in here like I did with the last collection which is so great um, there's no like uncomfortable seams in here I am obsessed with this the little like monochrome detailing in the front is really cute. This undercut here, I think really just gives a little bit of definition and it just makes a very staple top a little bit more exciting with just that small detailing. Um, it does have a seam going up the side that also kind of accentuates that curve there. The two main big things are going to be the two adjusters on this. So you are going to have one adjuster on the bottom where you can go from loosest to tightest and then you also have the double straps up top where you can adjust um, 
those straps as well. So you really, really have a lot of customizations that you can do to really make this top fit well for you, which is amazing. Uh, I have seen girls with larger chests love this and I have seen girls with smaller chests love this. So I am obviously on the smaller chested gal side and I, I really, I love this top. And I do like the, um, how, how little space is left between the leggings and the top here. I do get rolling on these immediately. Uh, so these are just me wearing it, trying it on. I do get that little bit of rolling up top, but I do feel like this is a really good length and ratio for leggings to top. And this is the Canyon Red. excited to get is the short sleeve crop tee. So I did get this in a large because a lot of creators were saying how the arms were super tight on them. Um, so I did go up to a large and I will say that I am glad that I went up to a large because it is, it's hugging the pits. She's very fitted. Um, the only place she is a little looser is down here, but it's probably because I got a large. If you do get your normal size, you're probably just going to get that like more skin tight, form fitting t-shirt look. I am obsessed with these. Um, one thing I do notice is I saw all the girlies wearing like different color and then they have that long line kind of poke through. Since I did get a larger size, that's really not going to happen as much because the shirt is longer <laughs> than the bra, which is fine. Um, I really like this it's not the type of like t-shirt material you would expect but still super comfortable one thing i really appreciate is i have the bra on underneath and you can kind of see the seam but up here like this you really can't see the seam it just looks like a t-shirt and this is right up my alley i love 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 this t-shirt so much um i think that it's very versatile I feel like all this whole entire collection is meant to be mix and matched. So all of the colors really work well together. Um, right now I'm looking at the brown, pink, and white shirt and it looks like Neapolitan ice cream. Okay, I have to show you guys what I was talking about. So I have the cement brown, I have the pink crop tee, but imagine if I wore like the pink long line with the white crop tee or vice versa. We're giving complete Neapolitan ice cream vibes and I am obsessed. I want to wear the color combination to the gym so, so badly. I am obsessed with this. This made me a lot happier than it probably should and I just had to share. So it's just kind of meant to be cohesive all together. So I'm really excited to start mixing and matching, but this leaf green color I am obsessed with. Um, everything I have put on in this color I have loved and I'm keeping. So. <laughs> If that says anything about that, if green is your color, this is beautiful. I think that she is all out of stock, but this will at least give you an idea of how this fits. Um, I did notice that when I was looking for a review of this collection, there were not a lot of mid-size creators. Um, there was a lot on the low end and there was a lot on the upper end. So I just felt like I needed a review to look back on and just see a mid-size person. So I am filling that void for us here. It may not be relevant to this specific collection, but if she does come out with anything else or if Gymshark comes out with anything similar, you will have this video to reference as far as fits and how everything is really kind of fitting on the body in this collection so we can move forward with other collections. If that makes sense, I'll stop rambling. But yes, love, love, love the t-shirt. Um, it is a higher neck, but it's not choking me at all. This. I could totally see it cutting in. Um, so definitely think about that when you order. If you do have larger arms, then I would recommend going up a size, but I love this. And then the minimal detailing on the arm too.
socks. So as you can see, very monochrome, very cute, honestly. Um, I didn't think that the socks would be like a huge deal. They are kind of expensive, honestly, 20 bucks for two pairs, um, but they are really cute. I think that these do go really well just with if you're wearing like a monochrome and you want to kind of stay monochrome probably won't wear like the full thing out of the house but it's really cute for in i'm a huge socks girly so i will absolutely get my use out of these socks